So firstly, we're going to learn how to take some mortar off the mortar board. I'm quite used to taking a lot of mortar off just because my wrists have, have built up a bit of strength over time. But I wouldn't suggest you take a lot off. Just when you're starting it, just take a little bit off like that. You can either roll it on the board like this and scoop it and turn it over. Scoop it, turn it over, just so you get it like a Cornish pasty like that. Or you can just take a bit with the tip of your trowel, bang it down there and just keep treating that like that. The idea is just to keep turning it over so it looks like that, a Cornish pasty we call it, or I do. And then from there on we can, we can start cutting it and treating it, but we'll do that once we've got it on these blocks over here. But yeah, get a bit like that. Scoop it and then turn it. So you're scooping it and then you're twisting your trowel like this. Just keep it dead easy for yourself. Even if you just take a bit, plonk it down, scoop it up, plonk it down. Just keep scooping it up like that until you get it. Dead easy. Don't make it too complicated. And you'll feel the weight and of the mortar as you turn it. And there you go. And you can take as much as you want. Over time, when you build your strength up, there you go. That's just to make it more uniform as you pick it up. There you go. The other way you can do it is just make a little bit of an impression and dig your trowel in and you've got that. You know what I mean? So just dig it in, take it. That's another way of taking some. So dig it in, pick that up. All right, so let's move over to these blocks that I've set up. I'm going to show you how to spread the bed. What we're looking to do now is, I'm right-handed obviously, so I'm going to spread this way so you can see, but you're going to have to learn how to do both ways. It's easy to spread from left to right as it is from right to left, especially if there's a line in the way. We're going to go back and twist at the same time. And if you just want to aim your trowel to be about 25 or 30 mil in from the face of the blocks or bricks, in one motion to twist and back but it's at speed so i'll just get a bit of my mortar and then i'm going to do that now okay like that and then once it's on your, your bricks or your your blocks we're going to scoop with the right side we want a nice like a, a mountain shape tobler on 45 degree like this scoop that and we'll put it back down and then they're just mirroring it on the left hand side Scoop that and then we're going to put some there. We want, the idea is we want to cover all the material. In this case, it's blocks. So as we're looking down, which I'll show you now, we can see there's a bit of block visible there. So we're just going to cut again, put that there. And we don't want any material to be seen. Just keep it nice and uniform, nice and even. Scraping off and putting it down. There you go. Once you've got that nice triangular, is it a triangular prism? I'm not sure. A couple of ways you can do this as well. You can come from the side and do figure of eights like that, long stretching figure of eights. But the idea is, when you're furring your bed, it's just a nice gentle furrow. The purpose of furring a bed is just to create a little void in the middle of the mortar. So when you push your brick down, it's, it's going to be easier. The way we furrow the mortar is with the tip of the trowel, the back side when you lower down, and then when you start to come up, it's with the front side of the trowel. So the way I do it, it is I'm parallel with the line of the blocks in the middle and I'll just come out a little bit, about 45, 30 degrees, 35. And then it's just a tap, tap in motion, keeping the tip of the trowel in the center line of that tobler on you made. If you just draw a line down there to help you out, that's where you're tapping down that line. Now you come in parallel, out 45 and then tapping, keeping the tip of the trowel going down that line. And if you see there what happened, that's why I angle my trowel out. It just creates like a wave over this side so that the mortar is coming this way because we don't want any mortar to drop down the back. It does happen, but as long as we can minimize it, then we'll keep our cavities clean. So that's good. We've got all our mortar coming over the face of the brick. Now I want to collect this all now by using this type of motion. We are looking for a 10 mil bed, but Obviously we need to push our bricks down on it, so we want it like around 15, 20 mil even, just to give us plenty to push down onto. So when we're collecting, it's not angled in, and it's not rigid, it's just basically, if you just imagine just going forward with your trowel like that, just like that, but you're just angling it a little bit. 
and you're keeping it quite vertical you travel so you're working with gravity it's quite difficult to get it in one but you're going to have to collect it and work with gravity you're not rigid and it's not one angle because you can see that's just going to fall straight off on the floor you're actually turning your troll up and up and up and up as you're collecting it but we're not angled in like this so okay i'm going to do that now back on the board if any drops and then you can just up, uh, turn your troll around like that and go over it if you want you want it nice and uniform your bed it'll make your life a lot easier you can just see there that our trowel when we're scraping is more vertical you don't want it in like this cutting that's not what you want because when you put your brake down see there just as an example when you put your brake down on that bed you see there's going to be a void there's going to be a void here we don't want that do we if you're putting your brake down on here you can see that it's going to be more full isn't it you've got a lot to scrape off that's what we want so we're back and twist again you're not going really fast it's just a gentle give yourself some time make sure all the mortars on the center of the bricks are blocks Scraping again the right side and collecting. Back down with the same action. The same action. And then you're mirroring that. You want to be coming with the left side, collecting with this part of the trowel. And then up, away. Same there. Remember covering all the material visible. So all you can see is mortar. And then we're ready to fur our beds. Or fur our bed. We're going parallel, about 45. There we go. Treating that and then collecting this. Like that. And then we've got a nice bed of mortar to push our brick down onto. When you're pushing your brick down, you want to be scraping as you're going along. And then you can tap it into place if you don't feel comfortable with pressure. Just with the butt end of your trowel. Just evenly, even taps each side and keep checking for reference on a square the bottom of that brick is to the top of this block or brick you can see that's looking okay just go down a bit more we're looking for a 10 mil bed once you've got there you can check with your tape the bricks i'm using are 65 mil so 65 mil plus 10 mil is 75 mil, so our gauge should be 75 mil. And that, that's good. So we're okay with that. What you can do is if you've got a boat level, this is a small level like this, you can plonk it on in the center of the bricks, check it's level, that's okay that way. Across the width of the brick, it needs to go this way a bit. And there you go. That's your first brick set. Now we're going to come to buttering the brick. So this is quite difficult and it might, may take you some time to, to uh, practice. To butter our brick, we need a bit of mortar. So we're just going to put our tip in there and give it a flatten. There we go, simple as that. Flattening or flicking is just separation with the trowel hitting the palm. Like that, okay? Gent loose, 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 and then letting gravity do the work. Loose, stop. There you go, loose. Like that. We don't want a lot on, that's too much. That's too little. Oh, just the right amount, don't we? So that is, I'd say about that much is fine. You can play around with it and the more you practice, the more you'll get it. When we pick a brick up, we want to put our thumb on the face of the brick and we want to check for any marks or chips or scrapes on the brick because we don't want that because when we put it in our wall it'll look up messy so we've got a mortar on our trowel and we've got our brick here next what we're going to do is we're going to do a down strike down strike like that and then an up strike to mirror that so then we've got like a wedge on the see that so we've got a down a down strike and an up strike down up 
and then we're going to put our elbows in we're going to strike the right side with our elbows in we want it pretty steep this we don't want it shallow the angle we want it nice and steep so there and then reverse we're just going away like that and then there we have that so when that's squeezed together on a brick and scraped off we have a nice full joint a down and up a right side and a left side you don't want that too shallow like that that's a no-no because when you push your brick together you'll have a bit of a void just try and get them as full as possible your joints you know you want to get it really tight in that as you that's your angle like that. now we've buttered our brick we can move over to the brick we've already laid remember and that's perfect and we're going to push onto that all right we might need to hold it a little bit so we don't push it off so we'll just put a bit of support for that and then we're going down and a little bit of a wiggle and a flake we're looking for 10 mil and again you don't need to push it in with your hand if you don't feel comfortable you can just tap it down just gently either side keep scraping for reference again but this time what we want to do is we want to match this aris here that's this edge of the brick is called an aris and it's just where the junctions of two faces meet so we want to match this aris with this one what we've already laid because we know that's right so what we can do is just gently tap down keep checking like that tap this down until we've got that pretty much right it doesn't have to be bang on because we can adjust them with our level here's one I prepared earlier this is just a 600mm level alright so what we've done now we're going to put our level on here that's ok this brick so we're working this brick to that one two fingers on that and we're going to adjust it down because this is showing that it needs to go down here because that bubble is touching this line which means it needs to go down this side and we're working this brick as we push down keeping pressure on our gauge brick just gently tapping the level with the butt of our trowel never any metal and we can just scrape that into position that's good we'll repeat the process with the next one buttering that and then pushing it on again that joint nice and full and we want to match that iris up so I'm just going to check my reference here when we're scraping this excess off we're always using this part of our trowel with more control over that and we can keep it away from the faces to keep everything clean if we use this part it's just going to be a bit more hard work for you okay, just gent gentle cuts for referencing you can see down the line of the blocks if you need to adjust anything and we scrape that off as well matching that iris up again that's pretty good I'm happy with that and then we're just going to adjust this one again with our level this is just, just as you're starting out trying to make things really simple for you yeah? two fingers on there these two are right we know that it's just this one that needs adjusting so again just gentle taps until that bubbles in the center all right now that's three bricks laid what we can do next is plumb them up which just means to align them vertically with the bubble this blocks not so good so that's okay there and that's okay there so now we've aligned point A and point oh sorry brick A is, is, is plumb brick B is plumb another way you can do on your first course is check that's okay that's plumb and that's plumb we know that and then we can just align them both well we can align this brick in with these two by using a straight line and that just needs just a tiny touch there we go magic there you have it what you can do as well if you want to check exactly if you've got a nice 10 mil joint each brick of standard brick in the UK is 215 mil so that plus a joint is 225 so you can check yeah that's all right 225 our next one is 450 and that's right there a brick and a joint that's 450 and there's no joint on this one so 665 225 again and then so on so on just to keep track of everything really 
That's the end of the video, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you learned something. Just take your time, practice, 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 and repetition, repetition. Very important. You will get it. Obviously, when you're learning something new, it's really hard in the beginning, but the more you do it, the more, the more easy it becomes and the less you have to think about it. There you go. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.